When I was in grade school, I was a little strange from the standpoint that I actually knew what I wanted to do when I grew up. And not only did I know I wanted to go to law school, I knew that I wanted to go into tax. And so that was one of the things that people thought I was very strange about being because of the fact that I liked tax in the eighth grade and high, or in grade school. Oh yes, yeah, so I got picked on quite a bit for that um, from the standpoint of people thought I was a tax nerd and to this day they still think I'm a tax nerd. Well, I knew I always wanted to help people um, and one of the things that I realized early on was that a lot of business owners do not know a lot about tax and more importantly there's not a lot of attorneys out there that have a business background combined with the tax background so I can add a lot to the table when we're negotiating deals or talking about how to structure things from the standpoint that I know both the business law and the tax law. If someone doesn't know me, the first thing I like to convey to them is that I'm a very patient person. And in the practice of law, I believe you really need to be patient because sometimes if you don't understand the facts and you start to make an analysis without knowing the facts, you're not going to give the proper advice to a client. So I sit back, I listen, and I try to determine what is really going on because sometimes you get the whole story at first, but other times it develops over time. One of my best memories was I was dealing on an IRS controversy matter in which our client was assessed over $10 million in taxes, penalties, and interest. And over the course of a year, we worked with the IRS and ultimately got that resolved to the taxpayer only having to pay 100000 out of a $10 million proposed assessment. So that was one of those where I went home and just kind of smiled and said, wow, that's how I can help people. That's what I was trained to do. I'm an avid runner. Um, I've ran five half marathons. Um, it's been something that has been a great way to relieve stress and also a nice way to see Cleveland because as you're running, the courses on the Cleveland Marathon are very nice and it gives you scenic views of downtown and it's just a nice way to um, clear your mind. Every day clients walk into me, into the door, give me a call and they say, geez, the IRS is all over me, what can I do about it? The first thing that I always recommend to everyone is don't, don't ignore the IRS. If you ignore the IRS, your problems are going to only get worse because they don't go away. So if you want to deal with the IRS, respond to them, or get someone else that you're comfortable with that can respond to the IRS for you because ignoring them just isn't the answer.